Welcome to the Whistling Cars YouTube channel. My name is Laurent and today we're going to take a look at the... <laughs> yeah, uh, this is uh... Welcome to the Whistling Cars YouTube channel. My name is Laurent and today we're going to take a look at the Starfire from 1964. Let's go. What I would like to point out is the beautiful paint job on this car, the bright yellow, the stripes that they put on this car, it's absolutely gorgeous and it gives even more character to the car than how it came out of the factory. The chrome that they put on this car is nothing like what you see nowadays. The beautiful chrome strips that go all along the car, from the, from the back of the car all the way to the front of the car. It's absolutely a gorgeous um, a detail that they put on this car. That it gives the impression that the car is made out of one solid piece of metal. It's, it's in my opinion, it's my view on it, and it, it's, um, it's gorgeous. Or side fenders, whatever you want to call them, um, that they put on this car is pure decoration. It has no function at all, but yeah, it just shows that, that, that this is just more than your average car. This is a show car, and uh, it's hated or love it. Also, I want to point out these beautiful chrome wheels that they put on the car with the low profile tire not that thick at all and also the custom made exhaust it's a nice point of decoration I believe it will make a beautiful sound also these cars are known to rust and uh, where they can rust a lot is right here and I can put my uh, my finger uh, wrap my finger around it and I can feel there's dust uh, piling up especially if you drive this car very often it's dirt is gonna pile up even my own Cadillac from 2004 has this spot where dirt can pile up and uh, it can rust there. So every now and then you have to get a brush or a sponge and, and clean it underneath here. So uh, it can help you to prevent the car from rusting because rust never sleeps. I would also like to point out the viewer fault. Most of the cars during this time had it on the back of the car behind the exhaust plate. It, it's quite nice hidden. But this car, has it, this car has it on the side. I can imagine that like you come and go with, with your car and you want to refuel your car right here. So this fuel valve doesn't go um, sideways but actually goes up like this and here you can refuel your car now we're going to take a look at the engine this car comes with a beautiful massive V8 engine which produces around I believe 350 horsepower this car comes with power brake power steering and even and air conditioning inside of it. Also, we're going to take a look of this interior of this car. So what I like to point out is these massive doors and uh, let's open it up. These things are just absolutely massive. Just hear the sound of this. And boom, they're closed. Man, that's some American stuff right there. So uh, first impression of this interior is just a lot of metal and um, a lot of yellow. Uh, I like it. It just gives a lot of character, like I said before. And uh, yeah, very little plastic. And uh, except for the center console, that's just almost pure plastic. Um, but yeah, it has its character. Um, this car is equipped with a three-speed automatic transmission. You got your speedometer. You got your uh, how much fuel you have left, and some uh, gauges right here, which tell you how warm the engine is or uh, how much oil pressure. Um, uh, this is the radio that I can see. This is just um, how it came out of the factory. And you got it, of course. Like in all the American cars, you can uh, smoke a cigarette. There was no uh, uh, a long time ago it was believed it was even healthy to do and relaxing, but uh, nowadays we know better, of course. Um, you got your thin steering wheel, uh, like uh, many American cars that you have. That uh, yeah, they're thin. It's like you're holding a stick. And uh, but yeah, this car is equipped with electric windows. They go up and down, which uh, gives you some air, more air in the car. Um, the seat, they are very comfortable, um, not as comfortable in uh, modern cars, but um, yeah, it sits quite okay. 
So what about the back of the car where you can sit, where your passengers can sit? So you got some uh, little here. You can uh, stare at the uh, logo that it put here. So you're uh, always reminded you're driving in an Oldsmobile if you look to your uh, passenger, right passenger actually. So you can, of course you, have your, you can smoke your cigarettes and even has a cigarette lighter, which is pretty awesome. I haven't seen that in many cars. And uh, of course the electric windows, so uh, your passengers can uh, roll it up and down by themselves. And uh, yeah, I haven't seen this in many cars, actually where you can put your jacket up. So I wanted to point it out. And of course the car came originally, this car doesn't have it anymore. Uh, there's actually, there actually there were light bulbs here. And um, yeah, it's a cool little detail. If you're going to drive your car, dusty dices for some uh, good luck. Also would like to uh, show you the trunk of this car. I haven't seen trunks that deep actually, and, and you can put a lot of stuff in here actually. And uh, yeah, just wanted to point that out. You can easily fit in like six suitcases or a couple of dead bodies. I made that joke before, but uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's absolutely massive. And um, you can even take it on a road trip easily. And uh, even though it's not a family car, um, the trunk uh, is quite large. Now we're going to start the engine of this car. Listen to this V8 roaring engine. Hear the rumbling sound? Now it's just idling. Beautiful V8 engine. Thank you for watching to the Wizard Guys YouTube channel. I hope to see you in the next video.